Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Banjo-Kazooie, the original, the OG Banjo-Kazooie, with feet graphics that look amazing. Uh, in the last vid, we uh, finished off Treasure Trove, well no, we finished off Clinker's Cavern, that's right, I'm recording this before part 3 comes out, so that's why I was a little bit off. Oh, do we, oh we never got the jiggy for Clinker's Cavern, okay. Let's just do that real quick, because it's pretty uh, easy. Just just do that to both the eyes. And there you go. That's where the witch switch on Clanker's Cavern. You guys remember, hopefully, you saw the witch's eyes pop up. You guys got a beak bomb them or beak bust or whatever. I forgot what it's called. It's one of the two. And so we're going to go up here. Uh, did I unlock both? I did unlock the cauldrons. I did. So, we already unlocked uh, the next world, I believe. Yeah, we've already unlocked the next world, so. We have unlocked Bubblegoose Swamp. So I believe that's where that jiggy comes in. I believe. I could be wrong about that. Um, Alright, so this is where Bubblegoose Swamp is. It's, all right, it's right here. We do have to go here, so. Up. Get wrecked, nerd. So, um... Oh, that's where Bruntilda is. No, I don't want to talk to Bruntilda. She's a piece of shit. Uh, it's right here. Oh, yeah, the boots. Okay. So, we're going to hop into Bubble Goop Swamp just for a little bit. And then we're going to leave immediately afterwards. Because <laughs> we're going to learn the move. And by the way, this is probably the hardest move to find in the game other than the one in Clanker's Cavern. The one in Clanker's Cavern is pretty difficult. He's going to do like... Bubble Goop Swamp, all you got to do... It took me forever to figure this out when I was first playing the game. You can see that there's like an area over here. Easiest way to kill those frogs is just to do that. Just normal X move. Don't jump and hit X. <laughs> there's Bottles Molehill right behind the start. You would not believe how long it took me to find that one. Chicken Legs wears them so you can safely wade through dangerous areas like the swamp for a limited time. Uh, Alright. So now... Now you know all the swamp's new moves. Okay, yeah, we know. We got a, we get a bottles. All right, so we're actually gonna go unlock world five now. So, are you excited, guys? I'm not actually gonna play world five, but we are gonna unlock it. Oh fuck! So if you step in this uh, piranha plant water, piranha plant water, piranha water, you take damage slowly. It sucks. So essentially, essentially, if you get Kazooie to wear these boots. You don't have to step in the piranha water. Oh, and here comes Grunty's Rhymes. Oh. So essentially just got to wade your way through this swamp water. And I don't have my headphones on and I can't hear the game. So I have no idea if the timer's running out. All right, but there's... So if you hit X again, it just gets rid of it. I believe. I could be wrong about that. So here is World 5, probably my, what a lot of people consider to be their favorite level in the game is one of my least favorites, <laughs> Freeze Easy Peak. It's a snow level. That's, it's after, it's actually interchangeable. You can do World, there's two levels, there's that and Gobi's Desert. Those are the next two. And they're pretty interchangeable, like, um, oh look at that. I got a golden feather, feather. Golden feather. That's what. It, that's how it's pronounced. I always miss these boots up here. These were. These were easy to miss. So you just drop down, and then you wa wade your way through the log again. I, except I can't apparently because I suck. Uh. So essentially, you should be running out of time right about now. Yep, I called it. All right. So, we unlocked. If you saw what that golden feather is, we're going to use it pretty soon. Um, I just got to remember. I just got to make sure I do this in the right order. All right. Yummy. Crot does like that. Me want yummy egg, too. So, the great thing about Banjo-Kazooie, in my opinion, is that the music is freaking awesome. Unfortunately, I can't hear it, so... Oh, that was pretty sick, Banjo. Yeah, it stuck the landing like a champ all right collecting our first notes of bubble Gloop swamp uh this is a lot of consensus people this this level draws a common consensus is like 
the most hated level in this game, I guess. It's really... And there's nothing super appealing about this level, in all honesty. I like it. It's an okay level. It just got no appeal to it. It's, it's pretty static. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, X definitely does get rid of him, unless I'm just... Oh, he got hit by the bear claw. You should feel ashamed. <laughs> you never kill enemies with a bear claw in this game because you have to be standing completely still or moving slowly. <laughs> Alright, so this one's fun to get. So essentially, you have like a 20 second race to get to that jiggy up there. Uh, 45. Never mind. Wow, you have a lot more time than I thought you did. So just really, my, my honest opinion, just take your time. Collect all the notes because... Although you are going to run back, so it doesn't really matter. Um, you can totally uh, jump it right here, but I like to just take it slow, grab every single note, and look at that. First Jiggy of Bubble Goose Swamp comes to us like that. Alright. Oh my gosh. Trying to wade this path is sometimes a pain in the rear end. And I, I didn't grab that green ginger. All right, we got the green Jinjo. Ah, uh, oh, uh, there's the boss right there. One of them. There's two bosses in this level, I think. Okay, so let's just grab this missing music note. Uh, make sure you shoot an egg in the crocodile's mouth, because they like eggs apparently. Last I remember, crocodiles liked human flesh, but that's, uh, I guess that's up to you to decide. All right, so we're gonna kill this. We're going to beat these bosses really quick. Easiest way to do this. And my mom taught me this because she loved this game and I do now as well. The easiest way to do it is just go Golden Feather and just wreck shop. It really is. Okay, come on. No! I'm wasting so much Golden Feathers. There we go. We win. See? So much easier just doing that. You can, um, you can do it with the, um just the standard moves but that is just so much easier in my opinion it really is and i'm speaking really loudly because i don't think the mic is picking me up properly all right so you can see all those stuff like all those goodies under there we're gonna have to get a mumbo transformation in this world to unlock all those goodies so we're gonna climb up these huts i guess it's like revisiting world one yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this level that you need uh, that you need the transformation for. So that's what I'm trying to make sure I get everything done that I don't need the transformation for. So you just saw her hack get destroyed, which means that uh, we can uh, get that jiggy underneath her, I guess. Oh, that's not the right one. That's the right one. <laughs> that's always a tough one to get. To guess, because you really can't see uh so there is a mumbo token right there which i got i nailed that and okay we fed the crocodile and now it's down there i don't know where there is though jump of kingdoms we survived it all right oh i almost fell off and all right that's jiggy number three it is three okay we have three jiggies um so Elgato Game Capture got an update, guys. It's up to version, I think, 3.0. Um, so I can record much longer videos now. So I'm going to definitely try to do that. I'm not going to try to leave you guys. I'm not going to try to lowball you guys anymore. Okay. And by lowball, I mean accidentally lowball. I didn't mean like, oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm totally just going to give them like 10 minutes worth of content. I'm not going to Game Grumps them. That's just how it works. Like Game Grumps only releases 10 minute videos, and I don't I don't like that, because I really do like the Game Grumps, but the fact of the matter is, uh, I only really watch their series in full once they've made it all in full. Alright, Fed and Air Crocodile, I think that's the last one. So once we get that one, should be good to go. Yeah, I want to grab these. We have a little bit more work we have to do, but nothing. Oh, gold feathers. Yeah, I gotta go after those. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. That, it, that jump, these jumps always scare me because it's like, it looks like you're gonna miss it. Oh my gosh. Okay, that one's got musical notes. That one's pretty damn important. 
Making sure I grab everything I can. Oh, come on! Ah. Oh no. I'm like dying. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Golden Feather. Let's come up here. Grab a blue Jinjo. So, alright, we're two Jinjos away. Um, yeah, let's just take the safe route. Okay. So, what else do I have to do? There's a lot in this. I think this level is like the most important one for the, um, for the, like, the Mumbo transformation. I think this is the one you use it the most in. I could be wrong. Freeze Easy Peak, you use it a lot. Um, you know what else I should probably do? I should probably go this way and grab this last thing over here. Okay. There's going to be some more frogs. Like I said, the easiest way to kill them is that, but... Oh, what a dodge. And there we go. Alright. Those frogs can be really annoying. Um... So, if I remember right, where the hell is the orange Jinjo? I don't even know. Is there... Okay, that's a Mumbo token. Oh, yeah, there's some more notes over here, too. See, I mean, that's why... I could go get the waiting boots and just do that right now if I wanted to, but... Boom! So, essentially, wherever the X is, you just gotta hit. Bam! Oh, come on! Essentially, you're just gonna break it open and you'll get the egg just like that Nailed it extra lives in this game are totally worthless The only worth they have is if you do actually die a bunch and then you um, And then you uh, have and then you have to use a continue essentially But I mean as soon as you restart the game your lives reset. I think in Banjo-Tooie You keep your lives. I could be wrong about that. I think I was like the like it was like so groundbreaking because I was like, oh my gosh, I get to keep my lives. This is so crazy. Alright, I'm missing the orange Jinjo though. Okay, so essentially, tip top. I think this is tip top. I could be wrong. Just hit his uh, just hit his feet and he makes an awesome noise. <laughs> it's like great. Oh, there's the orange Jinjo. Where's the pink? Oh, I know the... Okay, I know where the last Jinjo is. I do know where the last Jinjo is. So essentially, he's gonna cough up a jiggy after you hit all of his feet. Oh, that's tank tops. Who's tip top? I don't. I don't want to grab that yet. Oh, we'll do that pretty soon. All right, let's grab this jiggy. Jiggy. Okay. Um. I feel like I'm high right now, and that's like not a good thing. At least I don't think so. Fuck you. No! Yes. Being you. Alright. There we go. Last last of the crocodiles. We got another jiggy. Got another jiggy! How far behind is this? Is this a couple seconds behind? It looks like a couple seconds behind. That's okay, though. I mean, I think we should be fine. Oh, let's just... Oh, uh, no! No, no, no! Oh, see, you gotta, you gotta make sure you're... Doing the, whatever that walk is called, the Talon Trot or whatever, or else you're gonna take some heavy damage. Let's grab some eggs, and the orange Jinjo, so we're one Jinjo away from all the Jinjos, which is good news. Uh, hold on guys, hold on, I'll be back. Alright, sorry about that, I guess no sneeze decided to come out. <laughs> Alright, so walk into Tip Tup's, Tank Tup's mouth. Tank top. All right, this is a tough puzzle, especially since I got no volume. So, this is essentially a memory game, and it's it's fun. I do like this because I'm really good at memory. So, all right, quiet, please. The fan. Okay, he's tip top. So essentially, you're gonna have to go blue, light blue, yellow. Blue, light blue. Yellow. So copy what you just heard from lesson one. So that's an easy thing to miss right there. Okay. Blue. Light blue. Yeah, we're going to bash some turtle skulls in. That's what we're going to do now. <laughs> this is a pretty fun part of the game. Hmm, not too bad. Try lesson two. Blue. Purple. Blue. Red. 
Blue. Oh, wow, that's really easy. Gave me a really easy one there. Thanks. Thanks, game. Blue. Purple. Blue. Red. Blue. I missed. Blue. <laughs> so far, so easy. This is the last one. This is the last one is pretty difficult. Can be. Light blue. Yellow. Red. Light blue. Blue. Yellow. Light blue. Okay, that's actually not that bad. At least I don't think so. Light blue. Yellow. Red. Light blue. Blue. Yellow. Light blue. I got it? Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Magnificent. A true masterpiece. Here, take this trinket I found earlier. Oh, pretty, pretty fun. It's a great puzzle. It really is a good puzzle. I do like the puzzle games, guys. And we're going to go back here and grab this mumbo token. We now got 15 of them. I think we only need 10 for this one, but next one, we, next level, we will need 15. 15 mumbo tokens yes you heard me 15 all right um is that it is that all i needed i think okay hold on i'm gonna pause and look at the stats because you can view the totals here and then you can tell so i'm three jiggies away one honey come away and i'm a lot of no nope i know one jiggy left i know where the last two jiggies are okay i got this i got this we're probably gonna play one of the hardest games i think one of them is really difficult, and it's when you're the. It's when. Uh, no! No, 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 no. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. Let's just, um. Let's just, uh, attack this honeycomb thing. That's pretty nice to have, have there. Those things are always nice. So essentially, how we're gonna do this is we're gonna be on these waiting boots, and we're just gonna swap from waiting boot to waiting boot. Make sure you grab every note. Because walking through here a second time is a pain in the ass. Although you probably will because the next... There's one more Jiggy left I can think of. And that Jiggy is a pain. Alright. We got another pair of waiting boots. Alright, let's just keep going. All right, 69 notes. Perfect. Ah, oh, damn it. It's, all, it's already broken. 70. Okay, so... 71... 72. Alright, so here's what we gotta do. So remember that Jiggy run we had at the beginning? Well, here's another one. We gotta go across that beam. And the Jiggy's on the other side. I think we get 10 seconds? Alright. This is a pretty tough one, in all honesty. But, I mean, you have plenty of time. It takes If you go as fast as you can, it takes like 3 seconds to get over there. But now the important thing is trying not to fall off on the way back. And that can be pretty difficult, actually. And I actually did that really well. That's actually not bad. Usually I do fall off there, so. Alright, I think that's pretty much everything we need to do with Banjo and Kazooie, so. That's pretty nice. Right, so I just like to get out of there. So if you go back behind here, there's a Mumbo token. Yup. Yup. Alright. So, you need to bring him 10 mumbo tokens. Um, so, up here is gold feathers, and yes, there is a honeycomb piece right in the middle. Oh, I don't even need those red feathers anymore. Alright, we got that honeycomb piece. Perfect. Alright, let's transform. I think that's everything we had to do. I think everything else is swamp. So, you can see definitely something spinning right behind there. We got another mumbo token. Mumbo need new boots. Just kidding. Oh, whoops. Exit exit the freaking hut. So yeah, I think the alligator one's the only one that can attack. Pretty cool. So essentially, if you push X, he does this cute little chompy chomp. And also, when you're the alligator, you can walk in swamp water. That's why I made that jump. Alright, we're going to probably go for one of the hardest jiggies in the game right now. Let's just get it over with. So essentially... It's Red the Crocodile, and you gotta beat him in three games. If you don't, um, he'll chomp you for one health. Uh, it's not that bad, but this is a hard game. 
This really is. Her, her, her. I'm Mr. Ryle, greediest croc of all. Play my game to win a prize. Press agent receptor. Be your chicken out. See, they say chicken out to make you like, if you push B, you're a lame person. Uh, we're gonna press A. So game is simple. Eat more red yumblies than me. Press X to eat yumblies. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So the easiest way to do this, in my opinion, is just uh, just steal from him as much as possible. <laughs> like get in front of him, go to where he needs to go, where he's gonna go to eat the yumble. Ah, oh, shit. See, I mean, when you make mistakes like that and like they go away just instantly, this game can be really difficult. No, 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 no. No, that's mine. That's mine. That's mine. Yes. Yes. See, when you when you block him off and just eat all the yumblies he's going after, you get a massive lead like that. He'll catch up because he'll get faster the, the farther you are ahead, but that's okay. All right, we're just going to go this way. Basically, if you see Mr. Vile and, like, you're running in the same direction as him, you can just do that. I can't believe I actually did that. We should win this game pretty easily now. We still got two more we got to win, though, so... Basically, if you just cut him off that one time, and then, uh, not, uh, not, uh, oh my gosh, there's a lot over here, but we're up by, like, a lot. I have never won a game by that much. 35! I got an extra life for that! That's pretty sweet. Grr, you only win easy game. Now we play harder game. Eat reds, avoid yellows. So, alright, this is, this is where the game heats up. This is a freaking awesome game, though. Okay, I went the wrong way. Oh, wow, you didn't even grab that top one up there. Awesome. 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 Okay. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, no! Okay, we're tied 6-6. Six to six. I don't see any more red yumblies. Okay. Uh, God damn it. No, we're losing. We're losing right now. This is, a this is a pretty tough one, I have to say. Okay. Eat them. Eat the, eat the red things. Oh, my gosh, they're spawning near him. We are getting really unlucky with these spawns. So, I think if you lose one game, you have to start all over again. And we're down by three right now. All right. See the when you get when you're behind, he actually goes slower. Um, is there any more red yumblies? There's one right there. Um, there's a couple right up here. He does go slower the uh, the further you are behind, and the farther you are ahead, he goes faster. So, 20, 21. Uh, it's really easy to lose this game. 22. Oh no, he won last second. So essentially now, he's just going to chomp you for one life. Okay, we're going to run away from this red bastard. Oh my god, he still got me. Wow, okay. Yeah, we got to try again because we got to get this jiggy. This game is this game is so hard. Oh, we just played game two again? Rem what? Wait a minute. I thought we just had to start from the beginning. Ah, oh, wow. Now I don't feel that bad if we're losing. Maybe we start from the beginning if we die. I, I definitely think that's true. All right, we're up at five each. Yeah, really, I would not go for the ones up top because the ones up top, you can't see anywhere. Oh, my gosh. No. Yes. Yes. Oh, yo, you pushed me off, you bastard. Oh, this red bastard. Oh, okay. 11 to 10. 12 to 10. See, when you go up top, you can't see any other red ones, and it's really annoying. Uh, No. Fuck off. Fuck off. Yes. Oh, oh, what? I didn't mean to eat the yellow one. Oh, see, if you eat the yellow one, you uh, you stall for a second, and it's annoying as hell. Oh, just eat all the freaking yumblies. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Okay. Oh, 21 to 17. Oh, we gotta get this. We gotta get this. We gotta get this. We gotta get this. Oh, uh, 24. Oh, uh, 25. Yes. All right, we got the second game. We got a third game still. We still got a third game. Lucky Greeny wins. Must play last game. Only eat what is shown at top of screen. So this is when you can get fucked over. If it's like one second left, don't even try to eat one of the things. Because if it changes as you're eating it, it will screw you. And I like to just stay and wait for the yellow. Wow. I can't believe it gave me that. Oh my gosh. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, there's two yellows right here. So if you go, or two reds. Yeah. All right, perfect. No, 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 that's, ugh. Okay, we're down by two. We're down by two. All right, yellows, 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 yellows. Okay. No, it went away right as I started eating it. Uh, yellow, yellow, mellow yellow. Oh, no. All right, we're barely ahead. I don't see any more red ones. Oh, fuck you, game. Ugh. 
Okay, we gotta get the- No! See, look, it changes, and then you're fucked. You're, and then you're fucked. That's how it works. That's how the game works. Nope, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. Fuck! Alright, that's fine. I mean, the good news is he only chops you for one health. Okay, I'm right here. Might as well just take it. Oh, two health! What? Oh, that that sucks, man. Alright, do we just get start at the third game again? Or is that, like, doesn't happen? Le okay. So, yeah, they take it easier on you. Alright, red ones, red ones, red ones, red ones. Oh, fuck in hell, man. This game also... This game is also heavily dictated on where they spawn at, too. See, like, now they're gonna change to yellow. That's perfect for me. Alright, three to three. I don't see any more yellow ones. There's one right here. See, they- they fuck you so hard. Okay, red. Red, 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 red. Oh, come on! They all go away, right as- right as it changes to red, and I don't fucking- fuck! Okay, it's gonna change to yellow again, and then I'm just gonna eat from down here. Alright, ten to eleven. Ah, uh, fuck. We're not gonna win it again. Okay, maybe we will. Oh, yes we will! There we go, there's a good streak. There's a good streak. Okay, oh, just keep spawning right next to me. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Okay, yellows, yellows, yellows. Just eat the yellows, eat the yellows. Okay, we're good, we're good. We don't even need to get any more, because that's how good we are. Yes! <sighs> Beautiful. Holy crap. That game is super difficult. No, we're not going to do this. See, you can do the tougher challenge, and you get... You must win the next three games to get three extra lives. But if you lose, you lose a life. And it's so dumb. Yeah, we're going to slide off like a slug. Yeah, bass crock of all. Whatever you say, Mr. Vile, I don't care. I got your jiggy. That's what matters. Not those three extra lives. All right. So I think there's notes back here. We're going to try to finish this level off before the end of this video. Uh, I'm going to definitely try. This is a long video, but... <sighs> That was intense. That game is really intense. I do like it, though. They gave you a really big challenge really early on, um, and it's pretty sweet. All right, we're just going to get the rest of the notes. I think I know where they all are at. I think. Okay, so we're 27 and a half minutes, and we should be done in the next two and a half minutes or so. Oh my gosh, we're so slow. This is the only thing I don't like about transforming is you're so goddamn slow. Uh, alright, um, I guess maybe I'll just cut out until I get more, uh, more, um, notes. Okay. Well, actually, no, never mind. I think, I think, yeah, we're right here. <laughs> alright. So, here we are. We're at the last jiggy of the level. Okay. Yeah, that Jinjo right there is the last jiggy. It's always the last one I get. It. You can, you can't even get it with, um... You can't get it with banjo as the stilts with the stilts either, or else it won't, or else it won't count. You won't get him. You won't get the jiggy or the jinjo. All okay, let's grab these music notes. We got five left. I know exactly where they're at. All right, let's grab these uh, gold feathers because we used a bunch of them in that boss fight. Uh, there's two mumbo tokens down here. This is like the treasure cove right here. I mean, it's so many mumbo tokens, notes, Jinjo. All right, let's get the last five notes, which I probably should have got on the boots, but that's okay. Um, we're just going to do a long walk, and I'll tell you all about the next part. Um, we're going to go to Freeze Easy Peak. Yes, we are. Um, I'll probably... Oh, yeah. We still got to get the <laughs> Witch Switch Jiggy. We're not even close to done yet. And, oh, in the Cheeto page. We are so close. Uh, and I said, I spoiled it. Oh. Uh, the good news is it's only a spoiler for like two minutes ahead. And also this game is like 16 years old. So if you didn't know that already, then. No, this game is 17 years old. I'm just, I'm barely older than it. So. Holy crap. We're sitting at 29 and a half minutes right now. Just, oh man, this is great. My throat hurts so bad. I need some water. I'm going to go get some right after this video because I'm going to record part 5 right after this. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I'm going to record part 5 after this. It, it could happen. Maybe not. But, I mean, if you guys want to see, view totals. 
I believe we do have, yep, we have Bubble Gloop Swamp perfected in about 26 minutes. Not bad. 26 minutes is pretty good. I want to speedrun this game, but I don't know the speedrunning tactics, and they're pretty difficult. All right. So we've got one more thing we have to do before we go. Um, well, let's chomp this first to get some health. All right. Grab some more honeycomb pieces. Like, why don't they change when you transform from, like, alligator? Oh, you know, we got two more things to do. This video is going to go on for a long... This is a long video, but that's okay. You guys like this shit. I like this shit. We're going to do it. So... All right, we're back in the Freeze Easy Peak room. So if you remember right, we broke that ice block up there, right? So here's what it leads to. I'm going to probably just do this off camera purely because uh, it's annoying as hell to do. You have to go back into Treasure Trove Cove or whatever. But look, it's Cheeto. Cheeto, the spell book you have found. Magic cheats I have for you. Hey, Book Brain, what'd you say? You better not give my spells away. Ugh. Witch lost book, finders, baron, bird, our spell they get. Sure do, bang. Give us the spells. See? Only one spell Cheeto can tell. Enter this code blue eggs on Sand Castle Floor and Treasure Trove Cove. This cheat is basically useless. It'll be useful for one mission in, um. In, uh. Next. In the next world, though. That's about it. So essentially what the cheat does is it doubles how many blue eggs you can carry. So instead of carrying 100, we can carry 200. whoop de fucking do um, Yeah, so I mean essentially that's that's about it. Uh, oh no, we still got to get still got to get the witch switch jiggy, don't we? Okay, so <laughs> I mean we're we're making a long video here. Uh, we can actually get the witch switch jiggy in the next part. I mean, it's on the way. Nah, we'll, we'll just grab it in this part because it puts us right back in front of Bubblegum Swamp. And oh my gosh, the freaking... So yeah, we're about to change back into Baron Bird, so we're not going to move super slow anymore. So that's always a good thing. This is probably the longest video that's going to be on my channel, probably. Alright, Mumbo Magic has ran out. So now we are back to being a bear and Bird. Thank God. Really, I mean, seriously. You can move so much faster. It's so much... It's so much better. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, there's Brent Tilda on the other side. So essentially, what you gotta do is, I think, yeah. Up here. Right, let's let's hit the jump pad. Whee! 260 notes, we've crushed that already. We got 400. Oh man. <laughs> you guys are in for the longest video, I think. Oh my gosh. This is a really long video. That's okay, though. Longest video on my channel. Um, what's this? Oh, that's the boot. Okay, never mind. That's that's for something else. We don't need that yet. I think it's through here. Yep, it's through here. So, essentially, you gotta hit that switch. Uh, first, you gotta kill this asshole. And then grab his health, because that's how it works. Alright, so essentially, it's gonna make a shock jump disc spin around the vase in the center so you just wait like right here and then as soon as you're on top of it you just push a and then you just gotta land in the vase and it'll send you down a hole through uh grintilda's stomach and there you go jiggy from the witch switch on bubble goose swamp and that'll be it guys <laughs> finally 30 minutes a long video but we're going to be uh, doing Freeze Easy Peak next time. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.